Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to the another episode of Getting Started with C Sharp. I'm Faisal, and today we will talk about uh, the solution of the previous assignment, and also we will talk about some other functions of the string. So let's get started. So this is the uh, latest code I checked out from GitHub. So our assignment was to make the query as non-case sensitive. Uh, if you don't can't understand the requirement, you can check our last video. So to make the query non-case sensitive means either we can write to uppercase or we can write the lowercase. In either way, the result should be same because uh, this is the basic searching criteria or expectation. We don't need our user to write according to the case sensitivity of the data. For, sim for example, I am running it. For example, if I press B in small letter, you can see the result is zero. But in case I write caps B and A, then it is coming four. But what about I again price caps A, it's again zero. So, we need to make this uh, searching as non-case sensitive. So, how can we do that? Well, to do that, let's develop the, uh, what can I say, algorithm first or task list first. Okay. So, our query input string should be to upper and our uh, data which is coming from the text box or notepad is also should be to upper. Why we need that? Because this function starts with is super duper case sensitive. So according to our requirement if I write the B in a smaller case but it will find every district B is uppercase so it will not find any B valued which is uppercase if I write our text box dot texts B as lowercase so we need to make var query equals to Sorry, you will, you will not understand the var now, so I'm putting it as a string. And if I press dot after the text, you can see a lot of functions the .NET framework is providing us. And let's check if there is any function which can make this text as uppercase. So if I press up, you can see there is a function it is to upper and what does this function do it is returning a copy of the string converted to uppercase so after the colon it is a string so the functions return type is a string we have talked about this in our earlier videos I hope you understand so what will happen here is this to upper function will make the text as uppercase and put it into the query and also this D it is a string type so we also need to make the D as uppercase to match with query that means this variable so dot to upper and we will remove this and use the query so if you can just compile in your head you can see this line executes and put the text as a two upper case into the query and then every district is converted to two upper 
and matches with the query so no matter you give the input input as uppercase or lowercase in the text box it will always be the uppercase so it will satisfy our requirement let's check it so if I press B A you can see though we are typing B as a smaller case and A smaller case it is searching us and also if I press A as uppercase it's also searching us this is the this was the assignment I gave in the last video now how about we want to search any string of the districts for example if I press G A N G that means I want to search everything which is has uh, which is having ganj I'm not having anything you can see there is a word Japai no ab ganj so what will it do if I want to search anything so we need to check whether any function is having that function for us or dotnet is providing us any function for this so there is a function called contains and please check that what this function do returns a value indicating whether the specified string object occurs within the string that means checks whether our query is any any part of the D that means into the district if it finds it's returning the true and if where is true our new list will have that D that means the value so let's run again so as I write previously G A N you can see there are a lot of words having not ending with having the G A N for example if I press N A M 1 O X O A you get the idea so in this video we have seen two function of the string type one is contains one is starts with please check there are also many functions provided by dotnet framework for the string values please do some practice with this uh, I will do some uh, assignment in our later videos so thanks for watching just making sure you get this code okay Allah Hafiz